A Chicago schools watchdog releasing a really troubling report. More than 300 substantiated, substantiated claims of misconduct just during the last school year, sexual misconduct. The allegations ranging from groping and grooming students to threats and even sexual assaults. Mother of three and Chicago's 41st Ward Republican Committeeman Amy Kessem joins us now. Amy, thanks for being here. Uh, here, here before we get into it, here's a couple exam more examples to hang on the vine here. You got a 17-year-old sexually assaulted by a teacher, staff member of sexual relations with a 16-year-old. A teacher sent 4,000 texts to a female student. Gym teacher exposes himself to a female student. Students taken on trips by teachers. Is this a new phenomenon, the, the scale at which this is happening, and, and why is it happening? You know, it's really unbelievable. And once again, we have a failure of leadership here in Chicago holding these people accountable. We have a very powerful uh, CTU, the Chicago Teachers Union, yep. who fails time and time again to inform parents yeah, not about what's happening. Uh, you did. know, we only have conservative media outlets that are reporting on this, on the Inspector General's report. Where is the leadership talking about this, informing the parents, letting us know who are these individuals? I mean, some of these, these acts are so vulgar and explicit, I can't even repeat them. It's, it's quite embarrassing. Do you embarrassing. not require fingerprints? It, it shouldn't surprise us, right? If you're pushing hypersexuality into schools, into younger grades, uh, theories about gender and sexuality and transgender rights, uh, how does that not become part of the conversations then in school, which can lead to things like this? I had that same exact thought. You know, we have a state legislature that just passed a piece of legislation uh, mandating what pronouns are acceptable for you know us to use in the public school system, but they're not dedicating the same amount of time protecting our children, teaching our children what to do if they find themselves as a victim of these sexual predators. The whole thing is unnecessary. Why are we having sexual conversations in public schools in Chicago in an elementary school uh, as opposed to the basic reading and writing, which I don't have the stats for Chicago for this year, they're probably not ahead of the national average, uh, and something could be done about that. Here's, here's the statement from Chicago, the school district representative about this. We'll get you to react. They said, as a district, we take seriously our responsibility to serve our families with integrity and to address individuals who breach CPS policies and the public's trust and hold them accountable. CPS will continue to ensure our district policies and procedures support the highest ethical standards and ensure our value team. I can't even finish reading it. Does anything in there give you confidence uh, that they're No. It, I mean, we have an environment here in Chicago. It's an anti-police environment. They're taking our officers out of the schools, oh, you know, out of many of the schools, not all of them, but out of many of the schools. Where do these kids turn to? Yeah. Especially when they see their when counselors their coming up with the very person who they see, you know, in the cafeteria, them. the teacher's cafeteria, who's, who's molesting them to begin with. Who do these kids turn to? These kids need to know that they can go to the police and talk to them and report these crimes and report the fact that they are being victimized by these sexual predators. Instead, they're being told to go talk to a counselor if they'd like to question their gender identity along some unknowable spectrum uh, in elementary and junior high. At Amy, least they're doing that this. This when your kids beat on, ki beat on teachers, they don't do nothing. You know that Chicago Teachers Union hates the fact that these stats even get out there. We appreciate you talking about it. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. You got it. <sighs>